What chance is there that Britain would be the next debt-laden country to fall? Well, to answer that, we are joined by the former UK Chancellor, Lord Nigel Lawson. First of all, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, presumably, you would wholeheartedly agree that it's a very good thing that the UK isn't in the Euro. Oh, yes, it is. It would have been crazy ever for Britain to join mm. the Euro, and I'm surprised that uh, the Liberal Democrat Party still have it in their manifesto that we should join the Euro. The Euro was always a political construct. It never made any economic sense, mm. neither for us nor for the members who are in it. Now, of course, it doesn't mean that the UK is going to escape contagion from Greece. Do you think that that's a real issue? I don't think it's so much contagion, although, of course, the markets, the financial markets, are very mm. nervous about contagion mm. and therefore they will be watching even more carefully than they would have been anyway as to what the new government elected on May the 6th, whatever it is, if it, if it is really going to take steps to deal with the appalling mess that the public finances in the United Kingdom are in. Uh, unfortunately, we have a massive deficit and we have to take urgent action to get it down and they will be watching to see what the new government does. Now, each of the three parties in the UK has been criticised for not giving us enough detail about how they're going to cut that deficit. Is it not true, though, that if they actually told us about the pain that we're going to have to face over the next term, none of them would actually would be able, whichever one was honest, would not be able to be elected? I think that is the problem. Mm. I think you're absolutely right. Uh, however, I think that uh, they all know mm. that there really needs to be uh, substantial action. But it's not a question of not giving enough detail. In a sense, they're given too much detail. Because well, I wish they hadn't been giving detail. What they've been saying is we will protect that programme, we'll protect the other programme, yes. this programme. I mean, th that is crazy. You can't do that. You, you need a doctor's mandate, as it's called. You need to say, look, we get in and we'll look at the books and we will do whatever is necessary to restore the public finances to health as soon as is practical. <laughs> and starting straight away from day one. Traditionally, though, leaders who are looking to win an election don't tell us exactly what they're going to do. And I think Margaret Thatcher didn't announce that she was going to put up VAT. No, John we, Major didn't announce he was going to put up... Uh, no, I, I came in, in with Margaret Thatcher mm. in 1979. I was a minister right from the first uh, go, world go yes. in 1979. And indeed, we didn't uh, spell out in detail. We said some things. We said we'd cut housing subsidies and so on. Mm. But we didn't say it very deliberately. But we didn't say we'll protect this and we'll protect that and we'll protect the other. That's a big mistake. And the other the thing is, of course, that when you go in as a new government, you find you will have a meeting immediately with your Treasury officials. Mm -hmm. And the Treasury officials, mark my words, will have done an enormous amount of detailed homework. They will have all sorts of options they'll put before me and say, look, this is where we think we can make savings, this is where we think you can make substantial savings. So you wait and see what the Treasury's homework is, as well as any preparations you've done your own. Now, there is a chance that we're going to see a hung parliament. Uh, Ken Clark talked about the fact that that would be very, very unsettling for the markets, particularly with Greece happening now. Do you think that that is actually going to be a real danger if we see indecision? I think a hung parliament is undesirable mm. because you do need the strength of, um, under our system, you need the strength of an overall majority in order to be able to be really decisive. You don't want to have to spend time negotiating and making compromises and so on. But uh, I think that the prospect of a hung parliament is already priced into the markets. The mm. markets are well aware and you don't that it's think... likely to happen. So I think the fact that there is a home hung parliament, if there is one, which looks likely but not certain, mm. the fact that there's a home hung parliament is not going to cause problems in the market. But if the government that is elected does not take decisive action, that really will cause com huge problems in the financial markets. Just before and problems we, for the pound. Just before we go, if, we had to, if you had to put your, your chips on the table, in five years' time, do you think that uh, the Eurozone will exist in the way it is now, or will we see one or two countries having left? I think we may well see one or two countries leaving. I think mm. we may well, well see uh, Greece leaving. I'm not saying we definitely will, mm. but as you know, they cheated on the entrance examination to get in with the assistance of Goldman Sachs, and uh, they should never have been in in the first place. Mm. So you may well see Greece leaving. Lord Lawson, thank you very much indeed for joining us today. Thank you.